So this is a fascinating story here at Emo 2019. Uh, Maurizio, um, tell us firstly, you've got a book on the, on the wall about yes. flexible production, haven't you? Yes. Uh, you wrote this yourself? Yes, I wrote this book in uh, 2015 in order to introduce a new method to customers. So before to sell a machine tools, uh, the approach is to go to customer to suggest a new business model. Okay, now here is where the company was founded as well, 1958, the first three spindle machine. Uh, this is an important part of your heritage. Yes, this was the first step that my father did, uh, of course, 1958, where we started to uh, somehow introduce uh, automation in machine tools that used to be uh, single machines. So this, of course, this is very basic, but for the year was some, already a big step. Now, it looks for me like it's in pretty good condition. So I'm assuming you've reconditioned it or you have given it a bit of a scrub up before, uh, before it's come here. Yes, we did it like uh, three years ago when my father turned 80 and for his uh, birthday anniversary. And uh, we gave him back his machine or reconditioning that he saw for the last time when he was 23 years old and his receipt when he was 80. So okay, well, now this is fascinating now. So there's the background. Um, behind uh, the company and what we're going to see now is probably one of the most innovative machines that I've seen for uh, well that I've probably seen now let's have a look at this Porter Solutions um, this is taking it to the next level so we saw the three spindle solution uh, back in the 1950s now we here we are here uh, 2019 what are we showing it's still a three spindle but of course as you can see it did change a lot so this concept of the three machining in simultaneous is still here, but we add a lot of flexibility because to give our customer the flexibility to produce what they sell, not producing stock, but in order to follow the market, which is very liquid, it changed a lot. So we've got three almost like horizontal machining centers here, haven't we? All in one machine, all in one uh, footprint. They're all working independently. That's correct. It's uh, exactly three CNC center machine horizontals, but of course, having three spindles, the production is like three times faster. What, what about the tool changer and where you're getting the tools from? Do you have three different tool carousels? Do you have, you know, do you have three different everything in order to have three independent solutions? Yes, the idea is to leave all your tools in the different magazine. You have three independent magazines, and when you change from one product to the other product, you actually change only the clamping device and all the rest the machine is setting up to produce your next job. Um, are you selling many of these? Uh, have you got a lot of installations? Yes, this now we are up to uh, three machines per month which for us is a, is a good number. Right, so, where, so where's your market for this then? Someone that's got maybe three or four horizontal machining centers that wants all of that but in a much smaller footprint? That's right. In fact, this goes in competition with three or four horizontals and in fact, I always say it's not a machine for everybody. If you need only one horizontal, just go ahead and buy the one horizontal. Uh, uh, what about the loading? So here's your loading station, is it? How, how does this work? Because surely you're going to need to stop the machine in order to load it. Uh, now we are showing with no guards, but the key is not to stop the machine because here will be uh, the access to the operator or to the robot will be protected. Now we disassemble it in order to see how the machine function. But your load and load area an operation is while the machine is producing inside. Uh, the, the, the critical factor to this is the balancing of the operations as well, isn't it? You, there's no point in having that spindle machining for 20 minutes and that one sitting idle. So how do you, how do you program it all in order to get a, a, balanced, a balanced production environment? Yeah, simply you just do the program of the parts like in one spindle and after for each operation you have your cycle time and you just divide it into three depending, on the key is balancing and you move uh, the last tool here or there just to balance it. With a horizontal machining centre you often have high speed, high speed spindles. Do you have all of those elements as well here? Yes, there is uh, options. You have up to 6000 RPM with more torque if you are doing stainless steel cast iron or you have the option of the 20,000 RPM for parts like aluminium. So it depends on the application we have options. And full B axis on, on, on each table. Yeah you can integrate maybe another axis too onto the table yeah. and indexer. The basic machine has a, a four axis uh, live, but you have also the option of the five axis. Uh, so you wrote this book before you designed this or you wrote the book after you designed it? It's a combination of the two. 
but uh, the machine was designed for the lean manufacturing concept, but in order, actually became a little bit late at the book, because in order to explain very well how this uh, uh, method works, uh, so I found out that through the book, then it's easier that the customer will understand the machine. Otherwise, if you go straight to the machine, you need to digest it a bit. Because it's a, we go to customer and we suggest a, a different uh, business model, in essence. Produce what you sell, don't do stock. Fantastic. Fascinating. HSK 100 as well, these machines. The ultimate in productivity, selling uh, around about three machines uh, a month at the moment. And I'm sure that's going to increase. Thank you very much. Uh, fascinating insight into the heritage and the future of your business. Okay. Thank you to you. Thank you. Bye.